All right, for today's quiz, we have a six volt uh, power supply. I can show that by using my meter. I can go across one end here and the other end, and we should be able to read uh, six volts here. Six volts right there, okay? So I've got six volts, I've got a resistor, and I've got a diode, a standard silicon diode. Our question is this, um, with the circuit connected as it is, what is the voltage across the resistor? That's what your quiz looks like. As always, please uh, write down why you're thinking what you're thinking, and then list your confidence. How confident are you about your answer? All right, let's go over some typical student responses. First of all, students will say, look, this is a trick. You didn't tell us the size of the resistor. And without the size of the resistor, if you have something in series, it's gonna be impossible to know what that voltage drop is. So that's probably the first thing that they would say. The second, um, more typical response is, well, if I have three volts, I must have three volts here and three volts here. Okay, let's actually explain this quiz. Um, unlike resistors, diodes are not just a classical, but they're more of like a quantum idea. And so the diode, the silicon diode, always drops somewhere in the range of like 0.6 to like 0.7 volts. So no matter what this resistance is, it doesn't matter because this is gonna always drop that 0 0.6, 0 0.7, we'll say 0 0.6 for this particular diode. Um, so right now I have a, a brown, black, orange, okay? That is a very high resistor. That's a, what is that, a 10,000 um, 10, ohm resistor. And um, if I were to change that with a different resistor, the voltage will not change when I have it connected to a diode in this particular setup. Let's show you this. So if I have six volts and this is gonna drop 0 0.6 volts, this should be about 5.4. Put that on here, 5.4 it is. So if I used a brown, black, yellow and made it like 100,000, or if I made it a brown, black, um, red and made it 1,000, I'm still gonna have the same exact voltage drop across this resistor. And that is a little bizarre. And that's why semiconductors are different from resistors. And that's your quiz for today.